That's right, another exclusive. It's pretty rare nowadays with Trek releasing new bikes. Everything has been pretty similar for the past few years, especially with COVID. We haven't seen many 2024 bikes really release when they weren't already like a 2023, just slightly modified. But finally, the Roscoe 6 is having a change up and this time it's going to be actually a big jump. I have no idea what the pricing is going to be yet. Um, I found this on bicyclestore.mx, which I think is some Mexican website or Spanish website. I'm not 100% sure, but the Roscoe 6 has had some major changes and it's made it significantly better than what it was. All right, so what are these big changes? All right, so let's start with what is the least important change and build up from there. Least important, it's leaving the Shimano Dior behind. It is no longer that. It is going to their newer Shimano Qs. So it's a similar thing. It is a 9-speed, not a 10-speed. So yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's an 11 to 46 range. So it's actually going to have very similar range to what it was, but in a sense, hopefully a more cost-effective setup. And the front ring is going to be an FSA 28-tooth steel ring. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's going to be nice and durable, pretty simple, and a very easy gear for people who are learning and getting into mountain biking. That is a very low, easy range to have. So you're going to be able to make it up any climb, accelerate easily. Nothing's going to be too heavy for you. Second change, we are losing, finally, the 27 and a half inch wheels, except for on the extra small, small all the way up is going to that 29 by 2.6 inch wide tire. So this is a big change. The Roscoe 6 was the last of the Roscoe series to continue with the plus size tires. I'm not even sure off the top of my head if Trek now even has a plus size tire. This might be the end for it, so start buying them if you've got them because it's coming. Luckily, most of them are compatible with 29 inch rims, so if you have an older bike with 27 and a half inch rims, plus size, you should be able to fit a regular size 29 inch on it. So this new one will have a 60 TPI, kind of basic new Bontrager model, uh, the Gunnison, I've never heard of it, I'm not sure what its exact tread pattern will be, there's not many pictures out for this thing, so that's why I'm here just riding around on a different bike, not the one, it is impossible to get, I haven't even found any pictures, just diagrams off these websites. So it's 60 TPI, so entry level, it is tubeless ready apparently, and it looks like it comes with tubeless fluid, but again, I've got pretty limited information on it. So that's going to be a nice upgrade. They're going to roll fast, climb fast, and overall be a more modern looking bike. The last big change that is coming to it is you are losing that small travel. It is now jumping up to 140 mil of travel on everything except for the um, extra small, on everything except the extra small size. So this is going to be an SR Suntour XCR34, which is pretty impressive, honestly. So you can have 34 mil stanchions, 140 mils of travel, through axle, boost. Like, this is actually a really nice spec setup to it. And this must also be a new fork from SR Suntour, because I can't find anything that says it even comes in 140 mil travel, or it could just be a lost in translation per spec error. But this could be a pretty nice new option that we'd see on a lot more bikes coming forward. It is an aluminum frame and it does come with a dropper post similar to what it already had. Nothing big change there. Realistically, it's just modernizing the Roscoe series to all be the same kind of setup. You do get a nice length dropper post with the medium, large, and high with 150 mil, medium, 130, and extra small and small 100 mil of travel on that dropper post. So that's nice. Otherwise, if you've not rode a new modern Roscoe, this is definitely more mountain bike. It flows a lot faster. The original ones with the 27 and a half wide tires were more forgiving, and that was a nice way to look at the problem of new mountain bikers how do you make it easier for them make it comfier more make it more forgiving but the downside was it was kind of slow it was kind of heavy luggy feeling it wasn't drastic by any means you just definitely worked on the flatter stuff more than someone with an xc tire 
going to these 29s and modernizing it that way will really improve that and make it flow a lot faster for those people just starting out. And being that it's a 2.6, you're not going to have any issues with it. The Shimano Qs has had good reviews. I mean, it comes in a variety of different kind of setups, but the 1x9, which is an interesting choice with a wider range, will make it really cost effective to like ride and actually maintain as well as yeah the ride quality it's going to be nice and easy for anyone to to attempt at starting riding or you know get back into mountain biking jumping up to the more modern Roscoe geometry and 140 mil fork it rides really well it's comfy it's not too heavy on the handlebars where you're going to get uncomfy when you're riding around town or anything like that. It is definitely an improvement compared to where the Roscoe 6 was. I assume price-wise it's going to be around the $1,500. They show $29,999. I don't know what that is, pesos or what that would be. I'm just using Google Translate to read all this and it, it doesn't translate everything perfectly obviously. But overall, it will come in a few different colors. It looks like you've got a red color, um, some sort of green, and another green. So you've kind of got the vault color, the standard Trek red, and then, I don't even know, it's some sort of matte green. It looks good though. I mean, obviously these are only diagrams, they're not exact images. It's weird that that posted some places but it's actually hard to find I tried changing the location on the Trex website to a different country and I couldn't find it tried a couple but obviously there's a lot of countries out there um, and we'll see what else we can find so apart from minor changes in other models there really hasn't been many Trek bikes out that's why I haven't made many videos on them it's nice to see something changing Obviously with COVID, it kind of put a sway on the new release season and everything kind of came out when it came out and there was old stock and then they called it generation one, two, three. This is just a new Roscoe 6. It doesn't have a new generation to it. So obviously the other one is completely gone. Most places I see are sold out online. So it definitely is a, a replacement and not something that is going to be running alongside it. Definitely going to be a nice upgrade for anyone who's already got the Roscoe 6. You might be able to upgrade. I'm not sure how compatible the Q's is. I think you need a few different parts if you wanted to put a 12 speed on it, but it, it is something you could upgrade for the future kind of sake. Obviously tires and stuff like that, shave a bit of weight off would be a useful upgrade as well. But overall, it's gonna come with some nice disc brakes, hydraulic obviously, which will stop you. Nothing crazy fancy. They will probably just be the MT200s or something similar. That seems to be the go-to entry-level hydraulic brake for this kind of range of bike. The shifting will work, the drop post will work, and that Suntour fork is honestly a pretty impressive one. It's going to perform very well for most people who are looking at this bike. Hopefully there isn't too high of a price increase, being that it's really only modernizing it and overall package of bike should be where it's at. Um, like this is what it should be it shouldn't be what it was it should see some improvement after the long period of time we've seen with that roscoe 6 current model all right guys hopefully you enjoyed watching this ride and saw these terrible photos that i could find i did as much digging as i could and this is all i could get for you uh if we get more maybe we'll do a little more on it but right now this is all trek has released or the website who is selling it shouldn't have posted this i'm not sure but uh Thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for more stuff. Subscribe.